show that the centroid of the entire area can be found by finding the centroids of the triangle and the rectangle and adding them up with a weighted average. Specifically, I'd like to start by labeling a couple points. This is a zero, or O. This is going to be A, and this is B. So that the triangle goes from zero to A, and the rectangle goes from zero to B. The height of this whole shindig needs to be labeled. Let's label it C for whatever values of A and C we have. The centroid of the entire body is, by definition, the integral over the entire area of x dA divided by the integral over the entire area of both the triangle and the rectangle dA, where A is the entire area, the triangle plus the rectangle. Now what I want to do is break up this integral into the integrals from 0 to A and from A to B. You can do that because an integral is just an area. So I'm going to say that the integral over the entire area is the integral over the triangle, or from 0 to A, of x dA, plus the integral over the rectangle of x dA, over the integral of the entire rectangle. That denominator is going to just be AT plus AR. That's the entire area that we've got. You can rephrase this if you'd like to have different limits of integration. This goes from 0 to A, x dA, plus the integral from A to B of x dA over the AT plus AR. Now, let's break this up into two pieces. This is the zero, integral from 0 to A of x dA over AT plus AR plus the integral from A to B of x dA over AT plus AR. Now, if looking at this first piece, if this were the integral from 0 to A of x dA over just the area of the triangle, we'd be all set because that is, in fact, the, centroid, the location of the centroid for the triangle. But it's not. It's over AT plus AR. We can, however, multiply this by AT and divide by AT plus AR then your ATs would cancel and you'd have what you had before. Do the same thing for the second part. So this needs to be just over AR. Multiply by AT, AR and divide by AT plus AR. The great thing here is that this first term is the location of the centroid for the triangle. And the second term is the location of the centroid for the rectangle. By definition. Now we once again have a common denominator, x bar is x bar for the triangle, eight area of the triangle, plus x bar for the rectangle times the area of the rectangle over the sum of the areas. The nice thing about this is that it looks very much like the distinct terms for the centroid that we started our whole conversation with. This is the sum of the x bar a's over the sum of the a's for all of the composite areas in our body.